Hello and welcome to this introductory video on the Advanced Logic Trainer. Although my students will not be building this circuit with a Logic Trainer, it's still useful and they will find out how to wire it. So here is the wiring diagram as well as the truth table for the second part of their number one experiment. And we're now going to implement this on the pencil box. The logic trainer known as the pencil box provides a convenient way, particularly with combinational logic circuits, to provide input and output to the circuit. And it has the conventional breadboard, even though the rails are not marked with red and blue lines. So we have our three ICs arranged in the same sequence in which we had them before. That is, we have the NOT gate followed by the AND gate followed by the OR gate. Here we see that we have wired the supply voltage rails just like we did with the other board and we see that it's getting plus 5 volts from here and ground from here and it also shows that when we go across the screw here we also have to join the rails because there's a break there in the continuity so if we go from this side of the board this half of the board to this half of the board we must join the rail here it is not necessary because we have brought it into this half only but over here we have crossed it into this half so that's wiring the power and I want to see that wired that way on all experiments whether you're using the pencil box or whether you're using the conventional powered breadboard when using the pencil box we do not need to use LEDs and resistors on the board here we have the red wire coming from the output pin 6 of the OR gate and we have it connected to L0 here the resistors are built into the board and so are the LEDs so it's sufficient that when we do this connection here the output will activate the LED0 L0 here when uh, for the output without the need of adding an, a, re a resistor and an LED so we can simply bring the outputs here to turn on the various LEDs to monitor the particular state of pins in our logic circuit likewise for the input of our circuit where we have the A, B and C just like we did in the last video we bring the A, B and C out of our circuit which is built on the board the breadboard we bring it out here and we put it to the switches S0, S1 and S2 so here we have switches S0, S1 and S2 and these are going to allow us to put 0 or 1 on the three of our circuit inputs A, B and C so S2 will be A S1 will be B and S0 will be C and we can then do them in A, B and C in our normal way of writing in the truth table. So therefore we have the green wire connected to the S2 connection and the green wire is going to pin 3 of the inverter as shown on our circuit diagram the blue wire is connected to S1 and that is going to pin 1 of the inverter for B and for C we have S0 going via the yellow wire to uh, pin 5 of the AND gate as shown on our diagram so once again we're going to proceed with the wiring of our circuit from the OR and then from the inverter output to our AND and then lastly from the input to our AND okay we've added five wires to our circuit and we've completed the wiring of our OR gate here 
In this circuit, we're only using two of the two input OR gates, so once again, you should have nothing on this side except the power to pin 14. And we already had the ground and the output, so coming now from 5 through 1, we have pin 5 here going to pin 6 of the AND gate with this jumper here. Then uh, from pin 4, we are going to pin 12 here. That's this one here going from 4 to pin 12. We just add one more jumper here that goes from pin 4 of the NOT gate to pin 3 of the AND gate. Pin 4 of the NOT gate to pin 3 of the AND gate and uh, we are completely finished with our inverter. There should be nothing on this side but the power and we are only using from pin 1 to pin 4 so we are only using two inverters in this circuit. So it's just a few more wires for the AND gate and we are completely finished with this project. We've just added two more wires and a little hook to join pin 1 and 2 of the AND gate. So we've run a jumper from pin 3 of the NOT gate, pin 3 of the NOT gate, which is A, so it's green, and it comes to pin 1 of the AND gate. So this has been added and you can see the little jumper down in there connecting pin 1 and 2. There it is. I'm pointing straight at it. I hope you can see it connecting pin 1 and 2 together. And then the last wire that we had to put in was going from... Pin 4 of the AND gate... Pin 4 of the AND gate to B, so it's a blue wire which goes into pin 1 of the NOT gate. And our circuit is completely wired. So we're using the two triple input AND gates on this side, which means we need the extra input and output on this side. And these bottom uh, pins are left blank because we are not using the third AND gate. And that completes the wiring of your circuit and we will now test it and run through the truth table. We are now about to test our circuit and it's easy to do because we have A, B and C here and we have our truth table in front of us and you should too when testing your circuit. When we push up C, we apply a 1. And that's not going to cause the output. When we push up B, we have a 1 on the 2 line, so that's 2. And when we push up uh, B and C together, that's 3. And the LED comes on indicating to us we have a one output from our circuit. So we pull them back down and we push up four, one, two, four. Okay, so we're now at four. On that row, we're supposed to get a one and we do. Now when we go one, oh, one, we expect another one, so it remains lit. And when we go one one zero one one zero one one zero, we expect a zero according to our truth table, and it is so. So then, when we push up this one here to put one one one, our light comes back on, and we get an output of one for 111 one, one, 
and we have confirmed and proved that our circuit is working correctly because its output of 1 and 0 matches the rows in the truth table. So you see how easy it is and quick to test your circuits using the pencil box but you can still use the same procedure on your ordinary breadboard by removing and inserting your input wires A, B and C between ground for 0 and 5 volts for 1. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon again.